Aegea hominis is known as a butt fly. It is a large, densely hair fly that looks like a bumblebee. The human butt fly is native to the Central and South America. The fly is not known to transmit diseases causing pathogen, but the larvae of Dermatobia hominis will infest the skins of mammals and leave out the larval stage in the subtinous layer causing painful postulate to secrete fluids. The infestations of fly larvae inside the body is known as meiasis. Meiasis caused by Dermatopia hominis is really seen in the United States. However, it is very common among residents and visitors of the tropical regions of America. The female human butt fly lays her eggs on the body of an intermediate host like mosquitoes, which acts as a victory into the human skin when it feeds. The heat of the skin causes the eggs to hatch into the larvae, which uh, breathe through a central punctum. Unlike the other family members of butt flies, the larva of the human butt fly does not migrate far into the skin from its points of entrance. Records of early exploration in Panama reveal that Dermatobia hominis has been known as the human parasite in Panama for almost a century and a half. If earlier records were available, they would probably show that this fly has been known by indigenous Americans for centuries in 1934. So the natives of Central and South America have long known as animals to be infected with larvae of Dermatobia species. The ancient Mayans refers to the parasite as Saglacuru and believe that it owed its existence to the bite of some of kind of this mosquito in 1959 and it is strange how close the truth these ancient peoples were. So the ancient Mayans extracted the larva of Dermatobia by covering its breathing pore with heavy oil. In the early report of felin infestations by the Dermatobia hominis, it was reported that there are three half-grown larvae were found in a vagrant cat. Dermatobia hominis exhibit an hamatobalus life cycle, being non-feeding and having a short adult lifespan, three to four days in laboratory. This stage in the life cycle of Dermatobia hominis is allocated primarily towards reproductive efforts. The uniqueness of Dermatobia hominis from the other both fly species, which it can lay their eggs directly in the holes or in a hose environment, is a peculiar egg dispersal strategy exhibited by females of the human butterfly. This process involves the use of porters, for example, the protinic host, as vector for transporting the egg into the bodies of the vertebrae host. Under this, this strategy, a female capture a porter and glues her eggs into a one side of its abdomen using a water isolable glue after which the porter is released without being harmed. Being sensitive to a sudden rise in temperature, the eggs is instantly hatched upon the contact with the warm blooded body of the definitive host as the porter lands onto it, it usually to feed on blood. Within 5 to 10 minutes, the larvae bore their way into the definitive host body, often via the ones inflicted by the porter's feeding and established themselves in the subcutaneous lead. 48 species of flies, of which about half are mosquito and a tick, are reported to be involved in this paratinic relationship with female Dematovia hominis. Life Cycle Eggs Female Dematovia hominis adults deposit their mature eggs on the blood feeding atropole, usually a mosquito or a tick that is captured by the boat fly. In flight, this behavior is known as tourism. As the victor takes a blood meal, the boat fly eggs react to the change in temperature and hatch in the larva skin through the bite bone or hair follicles, where it then burrows into the skin larva through to posterior spiracles which lie flush with the skin of the host. 
a study by Pereira in the year 2001 showed that in rats, it took two days for them the larva to reach the subcutaneous tissue. After the seventh day of infestation, the larva mold to the second end star. And then the third end star, after 18 days, after approximately 30 days, the third end star can grow to be relatively large, crawl out of the host to pupate in the soil. In general, the life of the host is 5 to 12 weeks. The larva fade on tissue exudates. Pupae, pupation takes place in the ground and the group pupae do not feed. Adults will emerge after 2 or 3 weeks. Adults, both flies emerge from the pupal cases and their extremely sensitive antennae allows that males and females to find each other quickly. During the adult stage, the Matovia hominis does not feed. So what are the morphologic uh, structures of uh, the Dermatobia hominis, or also known as uh, the butterfly? So the adult butterfly has a 12 to 18 millimeter long with a wide array of colors. So the face is yellow with, with metallic a blue abdomen and orange leg. So each body segment or each body part of uh, the Dermatobia hominis is covered with hair which give the fly a bumblebee appearance. So I am going to insert a pictures and videos of uh, the Dermatobia hominis. So let's take a look at uh, this. Just Wow. That's pretty oh, cool, huh? <laughs> my goodness. So the bottom part, that's its mouth. And the top part is its back end, the little snorkel that we see. Yeah. And those hooks are incredible. So they're all backwards facing hooks. So if we try to pull This is the larvae of a butterfly. The larva has a special mouth parts that allow them to burrow into their host skin. Butterfly larvae is ringed with little black spine and they use it if you're gonna try to pull it out, it will be hard to take off because of its spine. This is the posterior spiracle of a butterfly. And the side view of its posterior spiracles are the opening of its body parts. The larva or white maggots goes through three instars. Each instar develop a distinct shapes. And these are the first instars is worm-like with a bubble bulbous head. Second instars is larva that has bottle leaf shape. And the third instars has a cylinder shape. So what are the life cycles of this parasite? So the adult the Dermatobia hominis, they deposit their mature eggs on a blood-feeding arthropods, usually the mosquitoes. So let's take a look at this video. To complete its life cycle, a botfly has to find a way to get its eggs onto the skin of a host. But the adult botfly has a problem. It's too big and conspicuous to drop the eggs off for itself. So what it does is it uses a mosquito to deliver the eggs for it. The female botfly ambushes a mosquito in mid-flight. The botfly lays its eggs and glues them to the underside of the mosquito. When the mosquito lands on human skin, body heat melts the glue. The eggs fall off the mosquito and hatch into larvae, which burrow into the skin. If they are undisturbed, they will remain there for six weeks. Eventually, the larvae crawl out through the breathing hole, fall off the skin, and burrow into the ground. Four weeks later, they emerge as adult botflies. Because botflies only make a few offspring, they need those offspring to get where they need to go, and that's why using a mosquito is such a brilliant strategy. There are several treatment options for treatment of Dermatobia hominis miasis. The most conventional way of removing the larvae is with a simple surgical procedure that includes local anesthesia. Using a scalpel to cut a slit to enlarge the wound, the larvae can be taken out. 
In this video, a healthcare provider is removing the larvae out of the skin of the client. After that, the doctor squeezes the larvae so that it will come out easily. Another easiest way to treat Dermatobia hymenis is by suffocating the botfly and applying thick substance. Dermatobia hymenis survives in its host by breathing through spiracles that are flush with the skin. Suffocation of the botfly is the most common, least painful form of removal. The larva can be suffocated by covering the openings it uses to breathe with an occlusive dressing. Or substance such as petroleum gel. Wait for 48 hours in hopes that the larva will pop out. After 24 to 48 hours, the larva will begin to emerge and the patient need to be surgically removed by a healthcare provider in an outpatient or clinic setting. After the larva removal, the wound should be cleaned daily with soap and water. To prevent a secondary infection. Antibiotics may be considered wounds typically heal without scarring one to two weeks Dermatobia hominis is known as the human botfly although botflies in other genera may also infect humans adults are large approximately 15 mm in length adults catch a female mosquito and lay their eggs on her body. They are also free living flies. They capture blood sucking arthropods such as mosquitoes and lay their eggs on their bodies using a glue like substance for adherence. These botfly are large, hairy, and bee like. You may see them as brown, orange, or yellow in color. There are several treatments of Dermatobia hominis miasis. The most conventional way of removing larvae is shown on the first video using a simple surgical procedure that includes local anesthesia. They can be removed also by covering the area where the larva is, covering it with bacon, petroleum jelly, beeswax, or any kind of thick substance that prevents it from breathing. So in order to prevent Dermatobia hominis miasis, make sure to stay away to a place where there are insects called botfly in humans.